Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you are all doing very well. My name is Muhammad Rizwan and I am a student of computer science at UT Lahore. Today I am going to give you a presentation on the topic of object oriented programming in Python. Before we dig into details, let me give you introductory details of my course. This course was taken from Coursera.com which is a very well known platform for online courses. This course was offered by Codeo and it is a highly rated course. I will be covering following topics in my presentation today. Number 1. Why did I choose this course? Number 2. What did I learn from this course? Number 3. Did I implement the information in my real life? Let's talk about point number 1. Why did I choose this course? The main reason for choosing this course is the future aspects. As we all know that the world is moving towards the digital age and Python language will be playing an important role in this age. So I felt like it is the need of time for learning basics of this language. Moreover, I also had my personal interests in choosing this course due to its free of cost availability. Now let's talk about what did I learn from this course. We are all aware of the fact that object oriented programming is based on four pillars. Abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism and encapsulation. Today I will be giving an overview of only two pillars, inheritance and encapsulation. As its name shows, inheritance means to inherit characteristics from parents to children. In case of programming language, inheritance means to inherit variables and functions from base class to derived class, which can also be seen from the given figure. The syntax of inheritance in Python is very simple. As you can see in the given figure, there are two classes, superhero and person. In this case, the superhero class is derived class or you can also call it as a child class and the person class is base class or parent class. So the superhero class is inheriting person class and all the attributes, functions and variables of person class will be available in superhero class. Let's talk about encapsulation. As it is eminent from the given figure, encapsulation means to protect the desired objects from outside just like in a capsule. The accessibility of variables and functions are restricted using this technique. The syntax of encapsulation is also very simple. By default, the accessibility of all attributes in Python are public. To make any attribute private, we use double underscores before name of the attribute which is also shown in the figure. The last point of today's presentation is, did I implement this information in real life? Yes, of course, I did and it provided stability to my programs as well as made it possible to use them in longer terms. Another big advantage of learning this new skill was that it is demand of the industry. So all in all, I would recommend you all to learn new online courses so that you could learn new skills which will be helping you in the longer run. That's all from my side. Thank you very much.